Hi, this is Yvette Vanderbrink, and we are out in Spearfish, South Dakota, talking with Les Shukard. And he is showing me his electric car, and uh, we are looking at his collection of electric, steam, and early Ford vehicles, among others. And uh, we're uh, getting educated today. We have a 1903 Ford frame and chassis, a variety of other vehicles. Over here is a Stanley steamer. That's a mobile steamer, but it's made by the Stanley Brothers. A mobile steamer made by the Stanley Brothers. An AC Ford. Just a variety of things. We also have an assortment of parts. Now, you need a good education on the steam cars. Uh, I had two brothers. Twins. Okay, they. They built a steam car in, in '98, and then in '99 they sold out. Well, the two guys that bought it had a fight right away, so they split up. Well, the one went to local, but he took the fact. So he went there's, there's actually steam cars that are '98, '99, but the mobile had to build his. So this is the 1900. Wow. And this has this got the uh, out of way a boiler, burner and boiler in it, so it's it souped up. A souped up steam car. Yeah, well, that, that was it. The steam in it was about three minutes after you fire it up. And how fast will it go? Faster than you want to ride. <laughs> kind of a wild ride? Yeah, they, they had them in uh, Florida. They was about that year. And they was on Dakota Beach. And they was racing them there. They had them up to quicker 100 miles an hour. But we went to one steer, if you can imagine that. Oh my gosh, steam cars. Yep. And now you have some early Fords over here? Yeah. Why don't you tell me about them? Well, that and there I built some parts. And uh, that over there is the one that's got the most by And I got the history of that starts out in 36. When uh, they were at Fort Henry Ford, I don't know what the story of the car. But, uh, they didn't have, even have a serial number on it. They didn't know where it was. I got, all, I got a book about that thick with all the letters in it. And they, uh, they asked around and finally found out it was on the flywheel. Well, there was no number on the flywheel. Well, they started looking around and they found numbers on the parts there. Actually, these numbers were put on by machinists. Each one built his own car in a certain place to keep his parts separate from the other way, put numbers on it. And, but they put that on for a serial number. So actually that car's got a serial number, it's an eight horsepower serial number, it's a ten horsepower car. Wow. And uh, it uh, goes back Henry, uh, he at Cecil Church, Paul Oxford, got that car, he was out of Philadelphia. And they talked to the second owner of it, he bought it in four, later four. And uh, he, well, I got a tape on it, I can play it, but anyway, he got, he said, I got some parts left up in the middle that I took off that case. He said, I don't suppose you can get them anymore. He said, do you want them? Yeah. <laughs> so they went up and got the parts. So anyway, that's the history on that one. They're really beautiful cars. I, I'm proud of them. I enjoy showing them. We showed these cars to a lot of people. And a lot of people know who you are. You're one of the founders of the Model T Club out here. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm one of the founders of that. Yes, I am. And what got you interested in these early brass cars? Oh, I've been interested ever since I was a kid. Just fell in love with them. Oh, yeah. And yeah, it just never had nothing to do with it. You know, the funny thing on that, when we started out in the early 60s, I got my name, Edward Johnson, he was a mechanic, and I got started. We were an old Chrysler. And, uh, of course, my house went down the creek in 65, so that kind of put it slowed up on that, but then when Elmer died in 67, and uh, I told mother, I said, come over, I said, oh, I said you know, we got to get started these old cars. Pretty quick, we'd be like Elmer, and then we won't have anything done. So I started buying cars, and she, oh, she, she fussed up fierce. And, you know, all the money, you know, I had spent on them. But the funny part about it was, whenever I bought a car, the money came in from somewhere. Yeah. And it was just, so I she got the bad that she didn't even fuss anymore. <laughs> and she likes them too. Oh yeah, she loves them. Taking a drive in them. And oh yeah, she, she loves them. So, uh, nothing 
like right in the one cylinder car. Every time it goes off, you shoot up and see the bridges. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. What's your favorite one? What? What's your favorite car? Oh, I don't have a favorite. They're all favorites. They're all favorites. <laughs> They're all favorites. But the nice red one is that electric over there. Then you just jump in that and go anytime. You don't have to worry about gas oil or nothing. Make sure the tires are pumped up. And that's all it's going to take. Isn't that pretty amazing? They're trying to do that again, and that technology was available a long time ago. Oh, yes, yes. Didn't have power in the house, but they had power in their car. Yep, they did. That's right. Yeah. That, well, anyway. That's amazing. Yeah. It's, the, it's good to hear all that history. Yeah, well, history is about two-thirds of the fun of this business. That's right. If you don't know the history right here, you're a hung goose on some of these cars. That's true. So you better know what you're talking about. Can't just go down to Napa and get parts, can no, you? No, yeah, can't. That's for sure. That's for sure. Thanks, Les. Yep, yep. Hi, this is Yvette with Vanderbrink Auctions, and we are looking at some vehicles from the Les Shoecart Collection Auction. You just heard Les talking about some of the history of some of his vehicles. The auction will be September 15th starting at 9.30 in the morning in Spearfish, South Dakota up on the Passion Play uh, parking lot grounds. We also have a huge assortment of brass parts, cast iron toys, memorabilia, literature, and even some remanufactured carbs that he had cast. There's also some molds for parts also. But these vehicles are absolutely amazing. And uh, some of them are in the process of restoration, but the most of them are restored. The vehicles are packed into the buildings, and we're going to give you a preview of a few of them here. And these are pictures that were taken just recently. And uh, this is a 1905 Cadillac. Very rare car runs and drives. Now Les is real fond of this collection and he's selling them to help them with taking care of some issues with his helping take care of his wife and himself as they've gotten older. He's a just a gem to the automotive industry as you can tell and we hope that you all come to the auction in Spearfish, South Dakota. They're all being sold as is, no reserve and no buyer's premium for on-site bidders. You can bid online through proxybid.com, absentee, or phone bid. But those arrangements must be made ahead of time with me. Since the cars are packed in there, we're going to look at some other pictures here. This is a little uh, untraditional, but they were packed in there. This is the mobile steamer, and you saw that in the previous video there. This is a Model F Ford that will be sold on the shoe cart auction. Air car. There's two AC Fords, which you saw in the previous video, and those are extremely rare. This is an absolutely beautiful 34 Ford five-window coupe. It is immaculate, absolutely fabulous, and uh, that will also be sold. This one's really cool. It's a 61 uh, Jeep four-wheel drive, runs and drives. Very cool uh, vehicle. This is a 1903 Rambler, and it's in the process of restoration. And he's working on this one actually in his house right now. This is a Model F Ford, and we saw this earlier. I'm trying to show the, find the picture of the Depression car. That one is really cool.
This is a 1910 Maxwell. Will be a good car for a tour. Bear with me here. Here we go. This is one of my favorites. This is an actual depression vehicle. Talk about your grapes of wrath. And uh, this has got South Dakota plates. And you can see the petrified chicken. And Les has got that also rigged up with a chicken horn. It is really, really cool. Runs and drives. Titles for the vehicles. And uh, he has some really unique uh, advertising that is just absolutely fabulous, too. This is an N Ford Beetleback. A uh, very nice car. Very rare car. Look at a couple other things here. There's also Model T's. Uh, be on time. The auction starts at 9.30. Here we go. It's a 1907 shot. And uh, that has had some work done to it, but uh, also drives very, very nice. This is that Ford AC. Very rare. And he does have a whole packet of letters documenting this car. And uh, that will go with to the buyer. He's got a lot of documentation for a lot of these cars. This is the other Ford Airs AC, also very rare car. But again, we hope to see you there September 15th in Spearfish, South Dakota. And for more information, check the website at Vanderbrink Auctions with an S dot com or 605-201-7005. And we hope to see you at the auction. These are extremely rare vehicles. And again, being sold as is, no reserve, no buyer's premium to bidders on site. If you have any questions, please give me a call. Preview and a social is Friday on September 14th. See you there. Hi, this is Yvette with Vanderbrink Auctions, and we're in Spearfish, South Dakota, uh, looking at some of Les Schuchart's cars again. And this is that rare 1903 Ford and uh, they've got it running and the body on it and uh, we've rolled it outside today over here is our 1904 AC another rare car very nice here's another 1904 AC Ford and has the baskets very nice and again, this auction is going to be September 15th in Spearfish, South Dakota. We want to make sure that uh, you come on out Friday night as a social. We're going to celebrate this collection. And uh, we have Les over here. And we're going to talk to him in a little bit here. Hi, Les. Hey. So you've decided to sell your collection. Yeah, well, probably time made this decision. Time, <laughs> time made the decision. And what do you want to say to everybody? Is there a favorite car or inviting everybody out for well, the auction? I want to invite everybody out to come out and bring your checkbook. Bring, <laughs> bring your checkbook. And which one of these is your favorite? They're all my favorite. They're all your favorites. Yes, sir. I worked on every one of them. put a lot of sweat and strain in every one of them. Yep, yep. And uh, we're going to be selling them September 15th up at the former Passion Playgrounds in Spearfish, South Dakota. And you can bid online or come to the auction, which we prefer, and have you on site. Uh, you can bid online at proxybid.com. Uh, for more information, go to Vanderbrink Auctions with an S.com or give us a call, 605-201-7005. And Les and I want you all to come out to the auction. Hey. All right.